just for good? Explain, nigga. We ain't explaining <laughs> shit, nigga. Hey, hey, this is news, huh? Hey, at the days of niggas explaining shit to y'all niggas, that shit is over. I'm gonna tell you that right it's now. It's but it's what we can do is flex these powers on your head, huh? Yeah. Hey, hey, show me what you can do real fast. Show, show, show. Hey, that's not, that's only one power he got. That's fine. Hey, show, show. We want to enact a few changes for y'all. The first thing is how y'all did us in the 17 and 18 hundreds. That's how we gonna do y'all. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? What you mean? You said, what do you mean? I said what y'all did to us in the 1700s and 1800s, that's what we gonna do to y'all. So if y'all did good to us, y'all ain't got nothing to worry about. Yeah, exactly. Are you referring to slavery? Hey nigga, you oh, said about us! Hey, you hey, said about us! Hey, you said that! You said that! That's all we said! Hey, in them $600 stimulus checks, y'all gonna live off that shit. Y'all live exactly like that. Exactly. Y'all got that. Y'all vaccines, y'all doing that shit first. Everything that y'all made us do, you doing. Cause how you gonna stop us? Not saying we gonna do nothing. Shalom, this is Gamal Leal out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all I can now push out this truth and sincerity. All right. All right, now uh, this is a quick lesson in uh, the video you saw. All right, uh, those are a couple guys on YouTube, and uh, they usually do uh, comedy. Comedy. You know, um, you know, just comedy, different comedy skits, but. Uh, this video actually got shared a couple times uh, by brothers, and um, you know, basically, I, as you hear what they're saying, it, it's based on the scenario that so-called uh, blacks getting um, superpowers. Yesterday, December twenty-first, uh, you know, there was a, I guess, a hoax, for lack of a better term, that. Blacks will be getting superpowers, and um, you know, basically, it was it was centered around uh, I think Jupiter and Saturn uh, were were aligned for the first time in eighteen hundred years or some something to that effect. But uh, basically, you know, it was a rare event, and you know, so-called blacks were claiming that either something disastrous disastrous would happen. Or that, you know, blacks will receive some sort of superpowers. All right. And, um, you know, I wanted to touch on the fact that Jake in their power, as you see, this is just a skit. But you see that uh, Israelites, when they get their power, OK, they're going to be in the in the mindset of payback. All right. Because you see here he, uh, in that video, he was saying, you know, we're going to do the same thing to y'all that y'all did in the 1700s. And he said, oh, what you mean, slavery? And he said, oh, oh well, then, you know, uh, he said, you said that. You know, and, they, and then they also said, um, you know, if y'all didn't do nothing, y'all don't got nothing to worry about. So Jake is in the mindset of payback, man. Jake is in the mindset of getting back at these devils, you know, and he said, what are y'all going to do about it? Yeah, because when we have power, when we have power, all right, Esau is 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 not gonna be able to do a damn thing. All right, so let's go ahead and get some precepts. This is uh, a <clears throat> Revelations two and twenty six. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Okay, so if we overcome and we do these things, you know, if we be of the elect, okay, because this is talking about the elect. You know, spiritual power is only for the elect, which I'm gonna get into. You know, but it says to him will I give power over the nations. And how are we going to have power? We're going to have physical power. Uh, well, I mean, we're going to be spiritually, mentally and physically superior. OK. All right. We're going to have complete dominance. All right. Over you other nations. Verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Okay, so we're gonna rule them with a rod of iron, and it says, "As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers." Yeah, so basically going into the way we're gonna rule over them, you know, they'll be cracking, cracking a rod of iron over their skulls, man. You know, and it says basically they're gonna be broken, man. So, so we're gonna have total dominion and authority over these heathens, man. Revelation 13 and. Uh, Nine, it says, if any man have an ear, let him hear 
He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Yeah, so like the guy said, he said, oh, if y'all didn't do nothing, so y'all wouldn't have nothing, nothing to worry about. But the fact of the matter is the, the Edomites, they did kill with the sword. All right. And they did lead them. They did lead the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans in the captivity. All right. Still to this day, you know. So they do have something to worry about, <laughs> you know, that's going to be with the result. You know, when when Israel gets their power, I mean, it's over for you. You know, you even have Jake's and I don't know, you know, maybe these maybe these dudes had heard the truth before. And that's why they kind of on the um in the spirit of getting back at the at the enemies, you know, they may have heard the truth. That's my guess. But regardless, even Jake, that doesn't have a full understanding of the truth. All right. They're in the spirit of getting back. You know, even even these type Jake's are second Thessalonians one and six, seeing it as a righteous thing to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. OK. Yeah, so so the so-called white man has troubled us. He's given us affliction. He's oppressed us as a people. All right, and it says it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation. Okay, so so that payback, you know, like like they were saying, they they're gonna basically, you know, do everything that that Esau has done to us, because who is gonna stop us? And that's the thing, who is gonna stop us? And we're in the spirit. We're we're coming to that to the, to this very soon, man. You know, Second Ezra six and ten, I believe it says, um, uh, "What is the parting asunder of the times? For Jacob is the end of the. I'm sorry, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it. It that followeth." Okay, so we're we got next. All right, we're we're and we're gonna have complete rulership over the earth very soon. Okay. So let me see. Uh, let's get a uh, second. That, that was um, let's get Isaiah because now we're going to get into the spiritual power. And like I said, the the only the elect is getting spiritual power, not you niggas, man, because you you thinking, you know, you could live your life all willy nilly and free and and live your life in sin and all of a sudden the Lord is going to bless you with spiritual power oh no man you got it backwards man you got it messed up for you for you actually for you for you uh blacks to actually believe that the Lord is going to give you spiritual power after all the atrocities and wickedness that you've done within the past you know decades and centuries you've got you've got you you're sadly mistaken my man you know, Isaiah 41 and and 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with thy right with with the right hand of my righteousness. Okay. So the point being is that the Lord is going to strengthen the elect <coughs> and uphold thee with uphold us with the right hand of his righteousness man you know and that's gonna be physically man let's get this because the lord is gonna physically use the elect jeremiah 51 and 20 thou art my battle axe and weapons of war for with thee will i break in pieces in pieces the nations and with thee i will destroy kingdoms all right so the, the men of the Lord are, are literally the Lord's weapons, man. You know, and he said, with thee, I will break in pieces the nation. So, you know, we're waiting on the Lord to, to basically give, give us power. All right. So that we can fully take over this devil. But we're going to need the Lord. All right. Because this devil has all types of, you know, technology, all types of weaponry, modern, modern weaponry. Okay. And he could easily take us out if we didn't have the, the power of the Lord, if we if we weren't destined to get spiritual power. All right. You know. So the Lord is going to break in pieces the nations and he's going to use his men to do it. All right. The scripture said the saints shall take the kingdom. All right. 
And we're going to physically take the kingdom, man. You know, under your Yahweh Shemiel we We're going to take it. All right. So let's get this. This is uh, Isaiah 40 and 31. It says, uh, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and be not weary and they shall walk and not faint. Yeah, so, so we're going to have literal power. We're going to be able to run super speed. All right, we're going to be able to fly. We're going to be able to, Lord willing, be, we be able to elect. We're going to be able to do these things. And we're going to be able to, uh, you know, not not be weary. Okay? We're going to have literal, we're going to be literal gods on earth. All right? Which we, we were gods, you know, once before. But, you know, the Lord, you know, uh, uh, diminished us from our from our power. Okay. But that's that power is only for the elect, not you blacks, not it's not gonna happen on December twenty first because they, there's always some new type of date that they say something is gonna happen, something big is gonna happen. You know, it used to be uh the Mayan prediction in two thousand I think it was two thousand twelve. There was another one, um I, I can't remember. They used to say 2000 was the, was the time. They always have some type of date where something major is going to happen. But the, but it's all BS, man. Here it is, 24, December 21st. You niggas are still smoking Newports. Today is December 22nd. And you niggas are still smoking Newports, listening to uh, bad rap.